In this video, we want to look at graphing linear inequalities in two variables. So we have x and y as part of this linear inequality. Now, we did graph and we worked with linear inequalities before, but that was when it was just x and we weren't graphing in two dimensions. So remember what we talked about before, that we graph these guys just like an equation. Now if this were y equals, we could easily, easily identify the slope as being two-thirds and the y-intercept as being the ordered pair 0, 2. So we have that much information, which is great, but there's more information to get from this in terms of the graph. Remember, since this is just greater than but not equal to, that means we're going to have a dashed line. So any points that we plot on the line will have to be open circles. Also, we see that this equation has already been solved for y. Since it says y is greater than, that means we need to shade where? That's right, we need to shade above the line that we graph. So with these four pieces of information, it shouldn't be that difficult for us to graph. So let's go ahead and get started with that. The first piece for me to use is this y-intercept is 0, 2. Now remember, since it's a dashed line, any points plotted must be open circles. So here's my y-intercept of 0, 2. And now I use my slope of 2 over 3. Remember, this is rise over run. So I'm going to go up 2 and over 3, up 2 and over 3 again. And I can repeat the same pattern going down and to the left. I like to do this to have as many points as possible. It helps me have a nice, accurate graph. Now this is going to be a dashed line. So just very carefully dash this line. And we will have arrows at the end of this. Well, we're almost done. We just have to use this last part here, which says we need to shade above. So we said shade above because all the y's are greater than. So that means we're going to be shading above the line. So all of this up here will represent our solution. Now, we can get as close to this line as we want to, but we cannot actually include any point on here. If it were greater than or equal to, then this would have been a solid line, and we would have included that. So what this is saying is that any point that we see over here will satisfy this inequality. Well, take for example this point right here. That point is negative 3, positive 3. Now what I'm saying here is that this guy should make this inequality true. So I plug in the 3 for the y, is 3 greater than 2 thirds times negative 3 plus 2? Well, when we do the math here, reduce this guy, we see that yes, 3 is greater than 0. This is a true statement. So we know that anything over here is going to be a solution for this inequality. So, it was a dashed line because it was just greater than. Shed it above because it was y is greater than. You had your slope, your y-intercept, put all the pieces together, and you've got your solution.